The latest update of the downed Prigozhin plane is that the bodies of Prigozhin and Dmitry Utkin have been tentatively identified, writes Russian media. DNA expertise will be conducted in the near future. And this is the latest footage from the crash site of Prigozhin plane. It is about to get hot in Russia. In the area of the camp of private military company Wagner, in the village of Tsel, and in the Osipovichy district, there are currently severe disruptions in the mobile internet. Looks like something is about to get very hot. Previously, Wagner official channels wrote that in case of Prigozhin death, they will march on Moscow again. They didn't say will that be in three days like they did in Kiev, though. And now Wagnerites are trying to flee Belarus against the backdrop of the death of Prigozhin. Gayun writes that a transport aircraft Il-76 VKS arrived in Belarus to take out the Wagnerites. They can run, but not hide. It'll be bloody. And now Wagnerites are trying to flee Belarus against the backdrop of the death of Prigozhin. Gayun writes that a transport aircraft Il-76 VKS arrived in Belarus to take out the Wagnerites. They can run, but not hide. It'll be bloody. In case of Prigozhin's death, the PMC Wagner has developed a plan of action, which is launched immediately, reports the pro-Kremlin Radovka. The mechanism is introduced automatically. What it consists of, it is unknown. The publication's source says that in any case, it will be very bad news. Remarkably, just after the explosion of the plane and the death of Prigozhin, the ringleader and customer of the explosion staged a symbolic, understandable only to his own, minute of silence. There is genuine sorrow on the face of the Czechist, and only shifty eyes betray joyful excitement. Epic cinematic. Scorsese is resting. Tarantino, study and study. When I saw this video, I realized that I can no longer guess. Prigozhin is dead. After 10 weeks of intense fighting, the Ukrainian army liberated the strategic village of Robotin in Zaporizhia Oblast, 12 miles more to Tokmak. Ukrainian flag is raised in Robotin. And this is funny. There are reports that Russian Mi-8 combat helicopter landed in Poltava. This is the first deliberate surrender of such equipment of the Russian Federation to Ukrainians. This story promises to become legendary. The Russian combat helicopter Mi-8 together with the entire crew flew to Ukraine and surrendered to the armed forces. This was reported by a Russian propaganda channel. The Russians report that the reason for the flight was navigational errors. But without a doubt, this is another Russian lie. After all, if the helicopter flew to the Poltava airfield, as the Russian blogger reported, then it is located approximately 300 kilometers from the front line, and the Russians could only land there knowingly as a result of a well-prepared flight. The helicopter flies at a low altitude, at a low speed, and the crew can clearly see all ground landmarks. 
It is simply impossible to make a mistake by 300 kilometers. This is a large consumption of fuel. There can be no accidents. If everything was as the Russians wrote, then it is possible that the first conscious surrender of a Russian combat helicopter took place in history. This is just a sensation that demoralizes Putin's military aviation elite. We are waiting for details from Ukrainian official sources, but this topic promises to be in all world media. Did the helicopter crew decide to join the ranks of the Russian Freedom Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps? It would be interesting to hear the statement of the Russian pilots. An amazing footage shows how a Russian K-52 attack helicopter is getting observed by Ukrainian special forces with the help of a shark UAV in southern Ukraine. <laughs> there was large explosions in occupied Donetsk. Ukraine has hit in one day occupied Donbas, Crimea and Moscow. Footage released by Russian Ministry of Defense claiming to show a Ukrainian Storm Shadow cruise missile being intercepted by a BUKM-1 surface-to-air missile system in the southern Donetsk region. While I am extremely doubtful of the claims that this was a Storm Shadow, it does appear that something was indeed intercepted. Цель уничтожена, развод одна. Азимут 10, Далес 12, высота 1, скорость 20. Bakhmut, Ukrainian forces from the 92nd Mechanized Brigade, hit a Russian 2S4 Tiulpin 240mm self-propelled heavy mortar with an FPV loitering munition, destroying it. Chinese President Xi Jinping's bodyguard was detained at the BRICS summit in South Africa. The bodyguard of the Chinese leader lagged behind him and tried to catch up. But the security service pinned down him and closed the door. Erdogan says Turkey doesn't recognize the annexation of Crimea. Crime is a component of Ukraine. We maintain our support to Ukraine's territorial integrity. Erdogan calls for the release of Crimean Tatar leaders who were imprisoned by Russia. It's an interesting statement just before the meeting with Russian President Putin. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.